So I never intended my channel to be Skyrim the channel. But it just so happens to be that a large part of my interests in my life currently revolve around Skyrim. So if you don't know what this book is, it is a part of the Skyrim library. So this is the first volume of three. These are a collection of all the books that are in Skyrim just put into this these these things and I only got the first one because I didn't know necessarily if I wanted to make the investment of getting three volumes but since I restarted playing the game I been making an extra effort to read as many of those books as possible and then I found out that they exist in the real world so I got the first one here we are given the title is the histories this is a collection of all the books in Skyrim that revolve specifically around the history of Skyrim and Tamriel and Morrowind and a few other things in general. So admittedly, I've only had this book for a few days. I'm about that far. But right from the start, it opens up with a brief history of the Empire itself. It just kind of throws everything at you once at the first few pages and then it kind of starts to go in order of the third, is it starts? Yeah, it starts with the third era onwards. And it even has the complete Skyrim calendar and the days of the week. Ask me what January is. Kurt, what is January? The morning star. <laughs> Ask me what December is. What's December in Skyrim? Evening star. That sounds religious. Ask me what happened in the third era of year 433. Kurt. What happened in the third era of the year 433? The Knights of the Nine are reformed. Here I am. Reading from the Silmarillion light. Ah! And we shall read about <sighs> the gates of solitude. <laughs> solitude? That's where I went to college. Wow. <laughs> Story time's over with Becca. Tales of the tongues, Alduin's wings they did dock in the sky. His raw fear, his fire, and his scale sharpened sights. Men ran and they cowered and they fought and they died. They burned and they bled as they issued their cries. So far, this is going to be my Bible, my source of history and worship. Throughout it, there's art. Oh, that's a lot of text. There's art, I promise. There we go. So there are, there is art. I don't know if this goes into the fourth era, which is what Skyrim takes place in, because I haven't gotten that far. Uh, it does cover history of like how Whiterun and Winterhold came to be as well as Solitude, and kind of why they're stuck up little bastards, even though I do own a house and I live and went to college in Solitude. I know, whatever. It also gives the history of races and how they came there, including attempts for uh, previous kings to try and conquer lands outside of Tamriel. It's really good. It even has a translation to the dragon's language, if you can see that. Look at that. So it even has translations for all those things. Also, the cover is like embroidered, like it has a texture. So it actually like you can feel the brim. I don't know what you would call that, or it's like, it's, it's, it feels good is what I'm trying to say. The whole thing just feels good. I just like want to carry it with me and I want a copy to keep in my glove uh, compartment. I want a copy to keep next to my bed. I want, when I go to a hotel, I want copies of this in every single damn drawer. You know what I'm getting at. Did you know the Emperor of Tamriel, Pelagius, tore all of his clothes off at a speech at a local festival? Reading this has gotten me thinking, because honestly, I don't usually dive into the lore of things that much. I like to enjoy and absorb things in the medium that they were originally intended. Maybe I'm a purist in that way. So I never really read any of the books or comic books based off of games that would extend the universe that was already established in, say, a movie or a video game. But then it got me thinking, and I watch movies and cartoons and read books that were once based off of comics or other books, so why, would, why shouldn't the same apply to something like a video game? I don't know. It's got me thinking and kind of re-evaluating re for whatever reason that I avoided books and things based off already licensed 
other jibber jabber. But that doesn't necessarily tie into this because this isn't so much extending it beyond the game because everything that's in this book already exists in the game. So if anything, it's a very literal extension of what is already offered there. So this one doesn't really count. So not only has somehow Skyrim managed to recapture my love for it so many years after it's released, but it's actually starting to make me branch out and broaden up a bit and, and dive a little bit deeper into the kind of extended world of things that I otherwise, for whatever reason, ignored. It was, I don't know, I felt like, to me it sort of felt like published fan fiction, but at this point I guess really almost everything, if you really think about it, is fiction produced by people who were once fans of things. Unless it's a piece like, you know, if Mr. Bean and Swamp Thing fell in love. But that should be a reality. Anyways, I have reading that needs to get done. Thank you so much for watching. You're all great. I will see you next week. I am Curtin Davina. Goodbye.